Welcome back to my channel. It's Coach Kathy, and I've got the brand new to me Dollar Tree protein shakes. I'm going to try them all for you today. I've heard a lot of good and some not so good things about these, but we're just going to give them a whirl. Uh, I'm a little fussy with my protein shakes. I don't love a really strong whey flavor, and if they're too sweet, that can be a game changer, or if they taste too much like artificial sweeteners. But sometimes, <laughs> fair life, they really nail it. So yeah, I, I have high expectations for my shakes, but they're $1.25 each, whatever, let's try them. So I have two that are the protein coffees and they're by the brand Super Coffee. And I have this in caramel waffle and cinnamon roll. And I have two of the Alani's. These are also available at Walmart and a few more flavors, but at the Dollar Tree that I was at uh, two days ago, the only ones I could find were the Super Snacks, which is like a caramel pretzel flavor which is weird for a drink, but whatever, we'll see. And this one I'm super excited about, Fruity Pebbles. And an honorable mention, just because it was there and it was in the same aisle, and this is also by the Alani brand, this is an energy drink. And it's still only coming in at uh, four carbs, I guess, but only 10 calories for the whole can. So whatever, I like odd numbers. We'll do five. <laughs> Whenever in the restaurant business, you're plating up appetizers and things, they always say to do odd numbers. So we have five here, four actually do have protein. This guy doesn't, but might give you some energy. So let's see. I've already pre-chilled these and I've already given them a shake. So we're gonna get right in with super coffee caramel waffle. Definitely smells like coffee, so that's a bonus. Let's see. Mm, okay. <laughs> I started off to really like it. And then at the end, and even right now, it's just got that little super sweet artificial taste. I'm not tasting a ton of whey, and I'm not surprised actually, because I see this as plant-based protein. So it's not the protein aftertaste that I'm not liking, it's the artificial aftertaste. But I mean, it's not bad. If somebody handed me this and I drank it for 10 grams of protein for $1.25, you know, it's not bad. I'm hoping we get better as we progress though. That I would give like, you know, six out of 10. So let's see if the cinnamon bun is a little better. Same thing, plant protein, 10 grams in a bottle. Let's see. This one does have a cinnamon smell, so that's a good thing. Way better. Ooh. Ugh. I feel like I'm doing this <laughs> with all of these. So start it off good. Middle flavor notes were very good. And then again, I just had that little, mm. it must be whatever sweetener they're using in it. I didn't even check, but let's see here. Stevia, that's it, yep. Stevia, it's a love or hate thing. If it's blended with enough erythritol or monk fruit, I can handle it. But if it's the only sweetener, I recognize it right away. So again, six out of 10, I'll finish these but I probably won't be buying anymore. But if it was the only thing available and I needed some protein, I would buy it. So it would be situational. So let's see if things get better. So we're moving on to the Alani, and this is the Fit Snack, Fit Shake. And again, this is 20 grams of protein, so we're doubling it. And it's coming in at how many grams of sugar? Okay, they don't have it on the bottle, so that makes me suspicious. This says, excuse me, 10 carbs, but three are fiber. And then it says five added sugars. Ingredients are filtered water, protein, isolate, cream, sugar. Oh, so this is going to have some real sugar in it. Milk protein concentrate, soluble corn fiber, cocoa, sea salt, natural and artificial flavor, which that can be anything. The FDA is a little loose with their requirements for natural flavorings or artificial. And then sucralose and aciflamine potassium. So this is going to have sugar, real sugar, sucralose, which is Splenda, and then aspartame. So you're getting it all in here, but maybe it'll taste good, we'll see. It's 20 grams of protein. And again, it's $1.25 at the dollar store, so expectations are quite low. Smells very good, smells very chocolatey. Let's see how it goes. It's definitely sweet. Oh, it does finish with like a, a baked goods flavor. So I, I get the pretzel out of this. And yeah, it's chocolatey. It's sweet. Do I love it? No. 
It's just okay. It's better than the other two. I would probably maybe even give this a 7 out of 10, but I'm not running out to get that. So, moving on. Fruity Pebbles. Full disclosure, this is the one I was most excited for. That's why I made it last. And because it is fruity, it's not going to be caramelly, chocolatey, you know. Sometimes the fruity things taste better. This can go one of two ways. This can taste awesome and it can taste like strawberries and cream or like the milk when you're done drinking your uh, fruity pebbles or your um, fruit loops. Or it can taste like cough medicine. <laughs> so let's see. Picking one for the team for you guys. This cost me a whole like $6. You better appreciate this. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. Yes. It's not strawberry. It's lemongrass. So if you've ever noticed that fruity pebbles and uh, fruit loops and even apple jacks and some other of those like super fruity sugar cereals, they all have a very distinct odor and it's lemongrass. And right when I held this up to my nose, that's what I got. It's a very almost lemon pledge-esque smell, but I like it. I like it a lot. I love citrus. So this is good. I'm going to have another sip. I also love the mouthfeel of this one. This was thick and very shake-like. This is just like milk. This tastes like the milk when you're done eating any of those cereals I just mentioned. I love this. 20 grams of protein. This one has one less gram of sugar. So this is nine grams of carbohydrates, three grams of sugar. So coming in a total of six grams. But again, guys, don't forget, these aren't to have with a meal. Like you're not supposed to have this with your breakfast or, or whatever. This is a meal replacement. So six grams of sugar for your entire lunch or your entire breakfast or even like an afternoon snack before supper, that's totally okay. You know, you just don't want to be drinking in these like six a day. And you don't want to have this with a meal. It's not supposed to be like chocolate milk. This is a meal replacement. So if you treat it like that, it's not too bad. So this is by far the best tasting one out of all of these. Like as far as best shake I've ever had in my life, no. Again, Fair Life still reigns supreme. But for texture and flavor, and it's not too sweet. That's the best thing about this. And maybe that's because of the citrus. It might be cutting through the sweetness a little bit. This is definitely getting an eight, and I absolutely will be buying that again. Like, this is right in a class of its own. So, just for fun, let's see how this goes. So, this is 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's the same as a cup of coffee, so I don't worry about added caffeine. And also, these two coffees had caffeine in them, too. 10 calories, 4 carbs, 1 gram of sugar alcohol, so 3 net carbs, and it does have some biotin and vitamin B12, B6, and niacin. So I'm not going to call it a health food by any stretch, but it has been fortified with vitamins. And so it's going to have more vitamins than your coffee would have. You can look at it that way. If you're not a coffee drinker and some people wake up and they like to slam a Diet Pepsi just for the caffeine, you know, this would be a better option. So let's just, doesn't really smell like much. And it's kiwi guava is the flavor. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, it's that good. <laughs> Run out and get 10. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Like it, it, oh, it's making my squirters go. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it's because these are so sweet and that's not, I maybe should have tried this first, but between having a milky coating on my tongue and then this cutting through like lightning <laughs> and being sour, the kiwi is the predominant flavor there, not the guava. And now that it's mellowed out on my palate a little bit, it's not as horrible as it was for that first 30 seconds. But I mean, that was almost painful. That reminded me of like one of those warhead challenges when we were in middle school. So, yeah, I'd rather have coffee. But if you don't like coffee, if you like super sour things, um, and I usually do, like, I love Sour Patch Kids. So I might even just let this guy hang out in the fridge for a little while and try it not right after this. That might not have been the best planning, but that's how we roll here at Coach Kathy. I didn't want to keep you on here for too long. But right now, this is getting like four out of 10. But I will try it again, and I'll comment down below. And if you tried any of these, comment down below. If you like this content, if you like these product reviews and the crazy faces I make, let me know and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on another one. We've got all kinds of reviews coming up still. 
And uh, yeah, I'd like your thoughts and inputs on any of these if you've tried any of them. So that's it for now. Bye.